Welcome to an introduction to CSI CrossCAD Part 2. In this video, I will go through many drawings in detail, demonstrating numerous editing features, as well as the automatic update of drawings. So let's get started. You'll see the list of drawings located here on the left-hand side. Currently, I'm looking at a 3D drawing of the columns. Type in the hide feature, it cleans up the drawing a little bit. And now I'm going to thaw some layers. So the rebar is actually shown for the beams, columns, and shear walls. So I will thaw S beam rebar layer. And as you can see on the screen, as I thaw each layer, the rebar populates. I'll do the same thing for columns. And finally, for the shear wall. Now let's zoom in on a beam column intersection so you can see the rebar quite clearly. I'll zoom into a section of the shear wall itself. And you can see all the rebar is being shown on the screen. To turn this off, I simply go back to all the layers and unthaw those specific layers. In this case, shear wall rebar, column rebar, and beam rebar. Okay, let's take a look at an elevation. If I click on grid line three, you can see this is the reinforcement for the shear wall that is being shown. If I zoom in a little bit, I have the ability to edit the locations of all of these rebar callouts manually by simply gra grabbing a handle and moving it to any other location. This can be done for any of the rebar callouts. I also have the ability to change the location of any of the grid lines as well. I can move them all at once, as you can see here, or one by one. I can also change the location of the story level callouts as well. You can move this all the way to the left hand side and can do the same thing on the other side. Just undo that. Also, I have the ability to change the scale of the drawing by going to CSI CrossCAD, Drawings, Drawing Scale. Currently, the scale is set to one eighth of an inch. If I change it to a quarter inch, the changes are made automatically. Now, as you can see, anytime I make a change to the scale, the drawing sheet automatically updates as well. But in this case, the drawing was a little too large. So if I go back to that sheet, you can see this is the case. So by going back to line three and changing the scale back, the drawing on the sheet will automatically update again. So I'll move it back to an eighth of an inch and you can see the drawing has now been updated. 